Today we are going to be putting together a rehab budget to flip a house, folks. If you've never flipped a house before and you want to figure out by just looking at the pictures what it's going to take to flip a house, pay attention because I flipped a ton of real estate and I'm going to break it all down for you guys in a very easy way. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and today my client is Mike. Mike, you are from Atlanta, Georgia, and you reached out to my team because we help people like you get involved in real estate. Now, your situation, Mike, you got 15 grand, okay, and you want to flip houses to ultimately uh, become a buy and hold cash flow investor. I have a bunch of hard money lenders, traditional lenders. I got all kinds of lenders for you, Mike. And with this private video, I'm going to send those to you. Which, by the way, everybody else, if you're watching the show on Holden Wise TV, know that this property I'm going to show Mike's not available, number one. Number two, I sent him this video months ago privately. I only released them publicly after the fact. But here's the deal, Mike. You ordered several videos from us because your goal is to take your 15K, flip a bunch of houses, get enough money to then buy long-term buy and hold rentals. And I do have lenders, and I'm sending you my lenders. But I'm just going to be straight with you, dog. You ain't got no fucking money, bro. <laughs> right? Here's the deal. You do, but you don't, okay? Uh, you got 15 grand. And the purpose of me saying that is not to say, Mike, you got 15 grand. You're fucked. You can't invest in real estate. No. That's not what I'm saying at all. But I'm going to tell you, even though I am connected with a bunch of lenders, I find it very hard uh, to believe that any lender is going to take a flyer on you and uh, get you enough money to actually flip houses, right? This is what you want to do, so I'm going to show you what the numbers on a flip is going to look like. But in addition to this, I'm also going to make a couple other videos because there are real estate strategies for you where you can take that 15 k and make money. Believe it or not, I actually have a long-term rental, right? You See, you're trying to flip houses to get enough money to buy a long-term rental. But actually, I got a long-term rental for you that's only going to require about thirteen grand, which I'm working on a video for that. So you're also going to get that, if not the same time you get this, uh, like a day or so later, right? So trying to flip to afford the long-term rental, you're just doing it backwards. Honestly, you want to do it this way, right? So I'm going to get you that. And then in addition to that, I'm also going to get you a video on wholesaling because you could actually do some wholesale deals in this market with under fifteen k. The furthest... The hardest deal to put together with only 15K for you, Mike, is going to be actually doing the flip. But I want you to see what a flip is going to look like in this market and how much capital you're actually going to need because that's what you were thinking you wanted to do. So let's check it out now. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Now this one. This is a pretty interesting flip. It's got the opportunity to make some money. Now, I'm sure the first thing that you're thinking as you look at this property is, Hot damn! That's one ugly house, and it is. I don't know why anybody would color their house that color. Usually when we do flips, like this is like kind of like an entry-level flip, like a first-time homebuyer type flip. I don't really spend too much time worrying about the exterior. Oftentimes, I feel like in the lower space, right, the under 200K ARV, uh, you get people that just fall in love with the interiors, and you don't need to really spend a lot of money on the exterior of the home. Oftentimes, the kitchen and the bath is where you get the biggest bang for your buck. But in this particular house, it's just... Like, ooh, it's got to go. So we will uh, we will address that, okay? And, of course, inside, right, the kitchen, you know, it's a whole mess. I believe what we have here is an estate sale. And estate sales are great opportunities uh, for us to flip homes, right? Nobody's living there. It appears the person who was living there passed away. It hasn't been renovated in a very long time. This is exactly the type of flip we want, right? You got to go through this thing and do it all. But don't worry. I'm going to break down the exact budget for you, okay, as well as the ARV. Now, this is a very important picture as well. You might be thinking like, oh, cool, a little basement, a little party area, a little hangout. The buyers are going to dig this, right? But there's two big issues uh, that I see in this photograph, right? The first one 
is you got some issues with that ceiling, that drop ceiling. It's like yellowed, okay, discolored, missing some tiles. So we're going to have to replace that, right? And then the floor, what you may not really know is this tiling. I don't know for a fact, but I'm about 99% sure that is asbestos tiling. So we're going to need to encapsulate that. If that is disturbed, like you start breaking it up and stuff, and all the dust gets up, that is it's poisonous. It's bad, right? We don't need to remove it. We can encapsulate it, which means we're going to lay a vinyl floor over it, right? So the house, it's an ugly duckling, but that's what we want, folks. That's what we want. So how is this whole renovation going to work, right? Well, what we need to do is purchase this home for 70 grand. That in my opinion is the price we need to purchase this thing for. $70,000. Because we're going to put $71,500 into it, right? Now, $71,500. What is that going to entail? We'll pull up the other chart. This is the more detailed version, right? We're going to go through this house. Of course, we're going to have to patch any holes, repaint any walls in the house. We should be spending about 5 on that. We're going to be doing refinished hardwood floors, right? The home has re, uh, hardwood floors throughout, as you saw from the pictures. We'll be refinishing those. Now, the basement is separate, right? We're going to be uh, <clears throat> going to be encapsulating that asbestos flooring in half of that basement. So we're looking at about two k, two k for that, right? We'll also spend another two k doing another drop ceiling in the basement, right? And then the kitchen, we're going to be dropping about fifteen grand. Now, one thing to note about the main floor. It's going to be all hardwood everywhere except for the kitchen and the bath. Those will be matching vinyl flooring, which guess what? That's going to match the vinyl flooring that we're also going to use to encapsulate the asbestos flooring in the basement, right? Then we got those two bathrooms. The rest of the work we're going to do in the two baths, we're going to bang one out with the custom shower, do just like a one-piece surround on the other shower. So we're looking at about 15 for that. As I mentioned earlier, the outside, a lot of times in these small little under $200,000 homes, because remember, we're going for first-time home buyers here, folks. We're only trying to sell it for $185K. That is a very cheap house in the grand scheme of things. Normally, we don't need to mess uh, with the outside, but here I think it's necessary. So we're going to go ahead and budget in another $7,500 for the vinyl siding. Three for the furnace, three for the AC, 1000 for the hot water tank, and another eight or so for the windows. That is how you get to 71 and a half. I know a lot of people, a lot of new home flippers specifically, they look at a house like this and they would be shocked to see that they could really get up to $70,000 of repairs, right? That's why videos like this are important. That's why working with professional home flippers like my team is important, right? What I just did for you, identifying two things, those are the two most difficult things to identify. The ARV, right? And I know the ARV because I know this neighborhood like the back of my hand. I've sold $200 million worth of investment real estate, right? So when you work with me, I handle the ARV for you, right? I come up with that. And the second thing is giving you a reasonable expectation for your bid, right? New flippers, what do y'all do? You usually overestimate your ARV and you underestimate your rehab. <laughs> that is a recipe for disaster. So uh, if you're looking at similar homes like this in your own home market, you can utilize... Uh, some of what I just give you, right? Because a lot of people, they look at houses like this and they would have no idea. Is this a $20,000 rental, a $30,000 rental? I don't know. What you see in today's pricing, 2022, post-COVID, inventory shortage, supply chain shortage, labor shortage, you're looking at 71 and a half, which is why you can't offer them the 100 they're asking. You think, oh man, the ARV is 85 grand more uh, then what they're asking, this must be a steal. Not really. You got to come in at 70 because you got to factor in that $71,500 reno. When you sell it at 185, your agents ain't doing it for free, right? Cost on that's going to be 12,950. You got closing cost 1850, right? So by going with the $70,000 bid, we could come in at 28,700 in estimated profit, right? And that's nice because if you look at my bid, I gave you the low value of 71, and then worst case scenario, it could jump up to 88. There are going to be some unknowns when you're doing a big rehab like this. So I've kind of given you that nice bubble, right? By offering 70, we protect ourselves. If we do not come in on budget at 71, which I do believe we probably would, but hey, never say never in the real estate business. I left us such a wide uh, margin for error that if we do go over or perhaps we end up selling for a couple thousand dollars less than the ARV, we'll still eke out of this thing with a little bit of profit. Now, I believe the most likely scenario that if we pick it up at 70, we will have you make the 28, but 
You want to focus on one thing before you focus on your return on your investment. That is your return of investment, which is why I don't think it makes any sense to pay more than $70,000. But this neighborhood is a pretty nice neighborhood. Uh, it's Parma, Ohio. It's what I consider a B-grade neighborhood. If you're interested in knowing what that means, check out the Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods below, uh, where I graded all the neighborhoods on, in the Cleveland market on an A to F scale, I think. Uh, this would be a pretty quick, easy flip to do. But again, it's all going to come down to getting it for that right price. And what they're asking, 100K, that's not the right price. In my opinion, we got to get that down to 70. This, folks, is how you properly analyze the flip deal. Let me know if you want me to write up that offer. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.